Elizabeth Smart was poised and calm on the stand, recounting nine months of horror. Family members cringed when she spoke of the brutal sexual abuse, testifying she was raped three to four times a day by her alleged captor, Brian Mitchell, a homeless, self-proclaimed prophet. Elizabeth never came face to face with her alleged abductor. The shackled and shaggy defendant refused to stop singing hymns, so the judge sent him to a holding cell to watch on videotape. I just told her how proud I was to sit there in in that courtroom and hear basically her story. She wanted to um, actually see him muzzled there and, and have to face her and know that, you know, this is what you are and this is what you did. I couldn't believe anyone could be so abusive, so self-absorbed and so selfish to hide behind the, the skirt of religion that he has. You know, life is moving forward and she is, you know, truly not going to allow him to uh, affect her life.